Hey, what is up? I've been meaning to film the beginning of this at my local, doing some fancy footwork, but it started to rain. At least we got an impossible in front of a rainbow. And now we're here talking about the ones who are going to save skateboarding. All right, it's unfortunate, but let's be honest. Skateboarding is struggling at a lot of places. It is more popular than ever, but at the same time, we're missing something crucial, the next generation. Yeah, that's what I observed at a lot of skate parks. There are not a lot of new skaters. It's sad because skateboarding has the ability to really help someone in life, getting along with it, coping with it. But the times are changing and it seems to get more and more difficult to attract people to skateboarding. There's hope. This video is dedicated to present a possible solution. Three superpowers to keep the thing we love so much alive. There's also some inconvenient truth in this, which you might not gonna like. I'm about to introduce you to a gifted skater, a person that is doing an incredible job at growing skateboarding. One of my dear friends, Keiji Masuda, he's definitely one of those driving forces. He's this one skater you wanna have in your crew, always laughing, always positive, always down to skate. He's well aware about the playful aspects of skateboarding, down to goof around, have fun, not take it too serious. I think this is well reflected in the tricks you're gonna see of him. One more thing that I'm a big fan of, if you do a kickflip primo in front of him, He's gonna try to mimic you, just to have that common sense of achieving something together. Curious and open-minded. I have a big sympathy for that. Now we're getting to an edit and there's a hint to his first superpower. You might can guess it. Lots of skating, enjoy. We are TSA. Takasaki Skateboarding Association. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. 
imagine if I would be dropping into this. I don't even have the balls to solve it, honestly. Would make a good thumbnail though. How do you get a place like this? With one of humans' most powerful weapon, motivation. Skaters in general though do have a lot of motivation to skate. But I'm also talking about motivation off the board working on something together. It is a lot of work to build a place like this and also to finance it. And I love how that started off by Keiichi introducing his association. We made one too. Tony Hawk approved. And I know this might be clinching with this free-spirited skater ideology, but it's what you have to do to get legitimacy. 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 Legitimacy and sovereignty. We need those strong nouns to work together with communities because they are the ones you usually find in skate parks. Without the local communities, this skate park, no chance. Still raining outside, that would mean no skating today without that skate park. In Japan, street skating is considered kind of rude. They want to have a place where you can feel comfortable skating. So motivation, it is the foundation. We need to be willing to put in the work off the board. Let's move on. I absolutely love the next section of this video. I'm beyond grateful that I had the opportunity to witness this and document it. Guess who built that place? Yeah, right, KG did. It's a skate park called Hub Fun. It's amazing, so sweet. That beginner section leads us to his superpower number two, great teaching skills. Back in the days, trick tips looked kind of like this. All right, today I'm gonna teach you how to kickflip. Do it switch. That's how to kickflip. At least I'm glad this changed. Now we know uh, there's a lot of way to make skateboarding a little less difficult than it is. For example, we do a shove. It's very effective on getting your body introduced to that motion. You know, it is smart. That's one thing. More important, oh, sh but even better than this, we need to understand before we even go working on tricks, we can start working on our balance. And with what you just saw, Keiichi is acknowledging this fact. Like balance is key to everything. So this is not directly helping me learning a shaft, but it's helping me to keep my body on the board, keep balance when I land. It is actually fun. It is working out your muscles. What a beautiful way. And it is getting even better. The little games that you just saw, walking over Primo board. What is that about? I mean, yeah, balance, but 
there is something more to it. So completing this challenge takes less time than actually learning an ollie. And what happens once I complete it? Right, it gives me a release of dopamine, serotonin. I feel happy. And I'm like, wow, I want to spend more time skating. It improves my balance, makes me hungry for new tricks. And one day it will help me a lot in learning how to primo. <laughs> wow. And one day it will help me a lot in learning how to primo. That's how it works. We're not fully done with that skate park edit yet. There's also a lot of advanced skaters at the park. Let's have a look at them too. Too late. gonna sound old now but a good teacher explains a great teacher inspires and I don't know about you but to me this footage is heartwarming makes me happy I got one more edit for you to introduce the last superpower very important I got the pleasure to visit a skate event in Japan at the Japanese market everything looks fantastic magic they're skating and a lot of good vibes probably one of my favorite days spent in Japan let's go found this place with the help of Google Maps. Everybody is getting ready for the festival. Busy out here.
are ripping. What a day. Right here we have some kind of beginner session for everybody that is going to this like big market, I guess. That's how to get people into skating. Did you guess it? Maybe you did. It is about organization. But this is the last building block. The Triforce is complete. This is how it needs to be done. As a kid, this kind of events meant the world to me. It's a lot of work and you want to have a sovereign presentation of your association. The day before, all the members, they gathered at the park, they repainted all the obstacles and trust me that skate park has a lot of obstacles and after getting that done they had to move everything into the center of the city which is quite some time away it's work 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 but all in the sake of keeping skateboarding alive i might should start a skate school as well maybe hopefully someday anyway what is your opinion on this feel free to discuss in the comment section this is just a possible solution from my side but i don't have a holy and perfect opinion nothing like this but i think what i just presented makes sense in a lot of points and it might help you to form your own opinion on this matter and maybe inspire you to work on this as well and get a lot of people into the thing we love so much skateboarding that was it thank you guys so much for watching hopefully see you back soon have a great day goodbye